Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create a smart checkbox in uh, Excel table. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this table wherein I have the first column is the check. I have created multiple checkboxes here. One checkbox is for each row. The second column is product. I have the product here and next is the product category and the product sales. So if I will select any of the checkbox, then that particular row will be highlighted and this calculation will be changed accordingly. Let's say I want to select the product one, then you can see this has been highlighted and the product count is one and the sum of sales is showing 200 because it is giving the sum of sales only highlighted products. If I will select another product, product 2, then it is giving count 2 and the sum of sales as 400. Now if I will select as product 6, then you can see it has been highlighted and the count and the sum of sales has been changed. So accordingly, if I will select another product, it will be changed. So we will learn how we can create this without using of the BBA in Microsoft Excel. So let's start. I'm going to add a new worksheet here and I will create this table here. Let's say first column I'm taking a check, then product name, product category, and then sale. So we are going to use this similar data. So just copy this and we will paste a special value here. So let me quickly format this table. And here we will take total and now and remove the grid lines from the worksheet. Go to the view and uncheck grid lines. So here we will create our check boxes. So let me change the row height also. Take around 20. Okay. So now I'll go to the developer tab and then I'll go to the insert and I'll go to the form controls. And from here I'll take this check box. Just click here and just click here. So you can see this checkbox has been created. Now I'll remove the text of this checkbox. Simple delete this, resize this. We also can change the size of this column. Now just adjust this here. Now we can make a duplicate, just copy paste it, or we can simply just select this range and press Ctrl D then you can see multiple checkboxes has been created and these all are aligned. So this is the quickest way to create multiple checkboxes. Now right click on the first and go to the format control and in the cell link just select this and just click on this C4 and click on OK. And then we will repeat the similar activity. Go to the format control cell link and this time we will click on C5. So we will connect the checkbox with the respective cell. Now we have connected all the checkboxes. If I will check any of the checkbox, then it will return the true and false in the Excel cell. Now just select this cell and we can give the font color as white so that it will not be visible now like this. Now first of all we will put the conditional formatting so select this range and then go to the home and conditional formatting new rule and then here I'll go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format. Now here we will put the formula. The formula will be pretty much simple. We'll put the active cell which is C4 equal to C4 and then here we want to highlight the entire row of the selection. So we will put the dollar sign before the column address which is column is C. So before C we will put the dollar sign and then equal to true. So we don't need to type the true. If you want to type it true then it will give the same result and if you don't want to type it here true then still it will give the same result. So you can remove the true just type dollar C4. C4 why we are taking because C4 is our active cell you can see here and now go to the format fill let's say we want to highlight this background color click on ok ok 
if i will check then the entire row will be highlighted so now what we will do we'll use the number form press alt oe to use the number format go to the number and then i'll go to the custom put here three times semicolon one two three click on ok now it will not display now, if you will check any of the checkbox that particular row will be highlighted now we want to put the count of these product here we can use simple count if count if and then range we can give this range in this range we want to count true and just close this so it is giving five now if i will uncheck the number will be changed accordingly you can see similarly for getting the sum of sales we'll use the sum if sum if then range we will give this range and the criteria we will give the criteria as true and the sum range we will give this range now you can see here it is giving us the now we can change it in dollar so you can see the 1400 dollar if i will uncheck then it will give me the result accordingly so friends that is how you can create smart checkbox in your excel table it can be used for multiple purpose here i have just given an example and this is the quickest way to creating the checkbox i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching